What is up guys, welcome back to the world of Minecraft, I know you have been waiting for this for the longest time, looks like Endermen have been here. Um, I just came from this little thing over here, basically I dug um, all the way down, or rather I was, you know the cave I was at, you know previous episodes, I was way down in a cave, basically I dug all the way up, and uh, that's where I came out, which then um, I, I spotted my little entrance to the back cave, and then... Yeah, so I came back up, uh, realised, not not realised, I decided that um, even though I, I found that awesome cave system and all that, I'm not going to focus on it for now, I'm actually going to focus on doing something else, building a mob trap. But first I just want to get out of the road without spending too much time talking about it is, oh wow, I was off to, to that direction, I thought I was like, I thought I was behind it, the mushroom entrance rather. Uh, anyway, I just want to get out of the road. The world of Minecraft is not dead. It is not, you know, finished. It is not kaput or cancelled or anything like that. It is very much still here. And it always will be. But, uh, that said, I've decided that I'm going to kind of slow down a little bit on how much I do it. And try and make each episode a bit more interesting for you so it's not just kind of monotonous minecraft gameplay uh, so this episode i'm going to be working on this mob trap idea that i had the next one maybe i'll finish up this and then after that i'll explore the cave that i had finish up um, the mountainside town which i do say on this new texture pack looks awesome i do apologize i can't remember the name of it i want to get your guys opinion though do you, do you like it i mean that's like grass and stuff i think it looks awesome i don't know what like i'm typically and i don't know what's up with his head I wonder if that's like kind of stylistic. I'm typically not a fan of texture packs that make the game look this different. What's up with this little guy? That's kind of cool. I can imagine if that's been lit up, you know, like a, a, a normal pumpkin. Let's see if we have any. Um, I can't remember the name, but if I do remember, I will put it in the description. So a pumpkin. Let's try and see what it looks like with how light coming out from it. <clears throat> Oh yeah, that looks great. That looks awesome. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you like it. I, I really do like it, and that looks awesome as well. It's something a little bit different. I typically don't like texture packs that drastically change the game, like to the point where it doesn't even look anything like what you'd think Minecraft typically is, but doesn't that look awesome? Anyway, what I'm working on, or going to be working on, is a mob trap. Um, this isn't going to be one that spawns all mobs, it's going to be whatever down in the dungeon that I found very early on in this series, season. So let me just dump my stuff. Let's make the GUI bigger, I think. People were complaining that, that it was too small. I generally don't like it this big, but for the sake, for you guys and for you uh, to enjoy watching this, I'm more than happy to put it up. Anyway, let me let me collect the resources that I may need for this. Going to need a lot of cobblestone, I think, maybe. Maybe not. Um, and also bear with me while I get used to the texture pack. I'm not 100% uh, confident based on what everything is. Um, mushroom stew, I guess I could take with me. I'm going to cook some of this steak. Wait a minute. Steak, raw beef. Oh, does that mean it's... Okay, that's cooked full. Awesome. Um, so yeah, this mob trap is um, based on... Let me think about this. It's not really based on anything, it's just the concept of the mob trap is that you base it around a mob spawner. I think I've got... Oh, signs. Ah, here's, he's one of these mob traps that requires a lot of wood and I forget where my lumber is. There is. We have none of it. Ah, I mean, you're going to have to go and get some. I don't know how long this episode is going to be, it's going to be however long it takes me to... Are you kidding me? Oh, of course, I use it and all that. Oh, no. How did the hell did... Did I plant... What? How did I plant the trees before? Were they like, oh, oh, here and... Okay. I guess we need to plant some more trees. I'll just bone meal them. I'll, I'll expedite the process. Um, building, or no, it'll be here, won't it? Bone meal. Uh, 
Where the hell would I have kept my saplings in here? Sapling. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to pause this and go and see if the timber mod has been updated for pre-5. And I'll come back. And that'll just, that'll just save some of the process here. And, and I don't really want to go and do all this. Then you know, cut the video, go and do all this, then come back. And I also don't want to do it on video. Because, you know, I want to stay in this groove. I want to stay in the mood for recording this. So I'll be right back with the timber mod. Okay, uh, I guess not. <laughs> uh, many saplings and bone meal later. I've, I just went and collected... I went ham on these trees. I just get as many as I could. Oh, there's a zombie. Uh, turns out there is no... Currently pretty much no mods for pre-5. And I didn't know that. I thought, you know... Um, people would just be away doing that, like making mods and all that good stuff. But it turns out there's actually like a thing you actually have to you you require to make mods for Minecraft, and I didn't know that. And apparently it's not been given out for one point or, or one point nine pre five or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, I'm gonna have to make all these signs. And I'm I'm not kidding, like a lot of signs. Um. If I do the math, I think I need, well, no, maybe not a lot. Wait, what did I just do there? Oh, sticks. I was like, wait, that looks like saplings, but this texture pack is confusing. Um, actually, I probably only need like 20. Let's go for 32 signs. Actually, no, I don't think I'll be able to do that. Let's first split this up and see how many I can actually make just now. Um... Four, four, four. Hmm. I think I should I'll be able to make like <laughs> ten, maybe. And the signs. Gonna need more wood. Dang it! Let me chuck all these signs away. Oh, what am I doing putting them in there? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I need like 20 signs and I'm going to need so much water, it's like... Uh, so I guess we'll make a bunch more of these. I don't even care now, let's just... Let's just do this. Hmm. La la la. While I was collecting all the trees, I was listening to the Pirates of the Caribbean theme. It was mighty epic. <laughs> Don't ask why. But I thought it was a good idea, so I've done it. Okay, we've got all these signs. We'll leave them here for now. As to not cause any problems. I'm just going to dump everything here for now. Temporarily. I'll, I'll fix it all later. Don't need that much stuff. Bucket of water. going to need another one. Do I have another bucket? That is the question. Building stuff. Nope. Okay, not going to cost too much to make another one. And... Danke. And then what we need... Well, actually, I don't know why I don't have one, but I really need to get an infinite pool in here somewhere. Um, and I need to go and get some water as well. Do that on the way. Whatever, it's not a big issue just now. More, It's going to be better to have... Uh, an infinite pool in the area we're going to be building more so than here just now so let me see if I can just collect some of that hmm hopefully that fixes itself somehow <laughs> whatevs yeah so the mob trap's going to be built way down in the initial cave that we f we first came across way back in the day and oh look there was fresh water right there I could have used instead of ruining my nice little ice pool Let's, let's see if I can sprint down these, these stairs. There we go. If you guys recall, right around here, I did block that off. Now let me actually see what spawner it is. Hmm. If this is a... Eh, it's a zombie spawner. That's not as quite as good, but still worth the effort, I'd say. So, yeah, this is going to be a very building-orientated episode, but I'm going to explain everything to you so you're completely, you know you know exactly what's going on here it's not terribly difficult to make by any means it just takes you know some a little bit of time a bit of love and uh, that doesn't look good that is not going to help anyone ah 
Let me just block that up. Don't quite understand where it's coming from, but okay. Whoa! So this is only going to yield us like rotten flesh, which really that's absolutely useless. And why didn't that? What? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And one point nine. Um, each you know block of water is actually a a source block. So yeah. Keep that in mind. Let me think about this. Let's keep it. This can all get blocked up here. This can all just. You know, get blocked up, take away this wall. You want this room to be wide, but not too wide, not huge. Just enough for the mobs to spawn comfortably without, you know, getting in the way. Hey, iron, as far as I know. <laughs> Block this off. You take this away again. It should be all good. Uh, what's that? Three and two. So we need this wall out one more. You want it to be equal as well so that everything flows properly to the middle, I'll explain that. Setting up the water flows is... Oh, I should probably make an infinite pool somewhere. Setting up the water flows is terribly easy as well. <clears throat> so let me just do this. E oh, it's got water in it. And then we'll do this. And that didn't seem to work, so we'll do... No! There you go. <clears throat> yes, the water flows are done in a specific way, but they're very, very easy to do. God damn it. Forgot about that already. Okay, now we're going to have to deal with trying to block this crap. There we go, that's too, not too bad. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this... This episode goes down well. I'm trying to just focus more on the game, more on the fun parts, you know, your building, all that good stuff, and um, damn it, and not so much on you know, rabbiting on about how everything sucks and how I hate my life and all on it, dying on it, you know, whatever. Um, ah, oh, this is gonna. Okay, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go up and actually just block this entire section off because I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm going to have to just deal with this now. Oh, dang it. Well, actually, I can just do deal with this this little section. Let's block it off here. I feel like playing in full screen really reduces my perception of the range you get in order to... You know, like, I'd, if I was playing on normal, this would feel like, like not full screen. This would feel like I could hit that block, but apparently I can't. The game doesn't want to let me do that, so yeah. But yeah, you're going to need space... Um, directly in front of what, well it makes sense obviously, but you're going to need space directly in front of anywhere the way your water is going to flow basically and I want my water to flow from from this wall into this direction so you're going to need a lot of space and no potential things like water getting in the way or anything like that so you need to be wary of things like that but other than that I don't think there is much you really have to worry about and I didn't bring my shovel, god damn it not a big deal not really a big deal at all, actually, but it would have been nice to have it. So I'm just trying to think. Um, you're going to have to take these two blocks here away. At least for my version. I mean, there's there's not too many ways you can derive this concept. Oh, that, that's not good. Zombie can spawn. Uh, let's put a torch up and <laughs> block this away. Just now, I think I'll ever need to go down there for now. You really need to light this place up, I guess. I hate people who are like lighting things up, you know, and like they, they throw torches down everywhere. Like, oh god, I gotta light this place up. It's so it's so messy and people can spawn and it's so good at all. Yeah, no, you just need like you need to kind of smartly place torches so that the range of each torch meets the just you know the tail end of the range of the other. Uh, whatever. By range, I mean just the way it expands out. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, so let me place these water blocks. That's how you want to place them. Right. Okay. I want this. I want this to be one more. You know, dug one more. 
Away. Away! This will just make things easier. You're just looking for a certain pattern, which I'll explain in just a second. Once I get rid of this wall. Come on! Come on! Right, whatever. Um, it's just enough to get them to spawn here. Okay, I'll deal with the, the fixing under. You know what, I might as well just do it. There's like four blocks I need to get rid of. Okay, so this is how you want your room. I guess that's a three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven, I guess seven by seven works just fine. And this is what you'll get in order to fix that. You're going to take these blocks like so. Collect all that. Then you're going to from this line, dig into this direction. I guess I'll make this three high for now. Gonna have to anyway. And you wanna go up. Anyway, so then all you have to do is take away this, 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 that, and that. And now you can see, let me try and show you actually. Come on, get up, get up. So no matter where I am, like if I'm if I spawn right here, if same as zombie and I spawn right here, I just like I'll be like No, where is it taking me? No matter what, I'll be sucked into this this zone here. Even if like I get trapped in this corner over here. No matter what, you know, I'm gonna get pulled into this section. This is why this mob trap is so bloody effective. Okay, so this is where we go and get our signs. Which I don't understand why I didn't bring them with me. I could easily fit twenty into the, my inventory, I think. But let me go and grab that. And, uh... Oh. Just now I'm going to do this. Yeah, make life easier for us. I'm going to light this up just a little bit for now, so that nothing spawns. Okay. Should be good. I'm going to head up and uh, get all those signs. And head back down. I'll just I'll I'll cut this. Doesn't need to be really like to film myself running up here, so I'll be right back. Okay. Now I've got all my signs here. Gonna need some water. This is the hardest part I'd say. And then the, the, even then it's not too hard. It's just it, it just takes a bit of patience, I guess. I guess you could say. So what you want to do first off is get a couple of signs, place them like so, I need one more. Try and get everything out of here that I don't need right now, which is everything. Basically, all you need right now is signs and water. <coughs> so that is good. Then what you want to do is place... Uh, how, what's the best way to do this? I guess place one here. Place a sign next to that. And this is where you want to start seeing how it becomes painful to do. You can actually make it easier by digging up this wall as well, but I'm not going to do that anyway. So this is this is the pattern you want. Ignore this. This is purely because I've done it in such a way that I need to stop the water from falling in this in this room. But ignore these. Basically, the pattern you want is that, then here, then here. I'm sure you can start seeing where this is going. The torch is in the way. And um, yeah, so then you do this. Now we go and collect more water. There's going to be a lot of back and forth here, which is unfortunate, but <laughs> has to be done. You could come, you could bring a bunch more buckets with you just to make it a tiny bit easier, so you don't have to keep running back as much. But it, you know, if you have the patience to do it, then it's well worth it. So again, this sign here. So we're going to put this one here then. Now uh, I need my pick. It's probably best to try and dig this section first. So what I am going to do is this. I am going to come up here and realise I should have brought another pickaxe. God damn it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I just realised that my game audio has been, you know, terrible. Uh, not my, sorry, my microphone audio. I do apologise for how friggin' obnoxiously distorted it was, but, yeah. So, I went and got a pickaxe and dug all this junk. Um, a certain amount of blocks up, I don't really know the exact amount. I'm just going up some. 
so that I've got, you know, the headroom in case I need all this space. So let's count this. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, oops, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27, that's perfect, uh, that's more than enough, so now all we need to do is clean up this mess that we have made by doing this, and that should be good. Basically you want a 1 by 2 space space in there, that should be good like that. Uh, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> it's a little bit messed up, probably just ruined everything there. I don't know, maybe not. Dang it. Come on. Come on! Right, that's it. Now comes the tedious part. The back and forth, the the meat and bones, I guess. But this is pivotal, you absolutely need to do this, otherwise... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Otherwise it won't work. Come on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. For I think they've sped up the rate at which you can break blocks now. When you're in water. Who knows. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some of this in advance. Let's do this. Uh huh. Bunch more signs. Hopefully I've brought enough. You basically want uh, to go up at least twenty four blocks. Now that's at least twenty four. I mean, it's better to do it at the beginning. You know, to work out this space you're, you're using, utilizing, I guess. But it's not absolutely necessary because you can always change the, you know, the thing with the thing, you know. I don't even know what I'm saying now. You can always change the drop point to be an appropriate height, which I'm going to do anyway, I think. Just to be doubly sure. Hey, okay. Up we go. This is called a mobivator as far as I'm aware. Someone, someone come up with it, I guess, Etho or someone like that. And it's going to carry our mobs in an upwardly direction, you know, vertically. And uh, I didn't think this through. I don't think, I think I needed double the signs I've actually brought in order to properly work out the way I want it to. There we go. Let's get some water. So like I said, this is kind of tedious. I think I may cut it, because I don't want you guys just watching all this, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, yeah, so I've I done a lot of work. I got this thing filled in, so if we go up, I'll just take you through basically. Um, hopefully I don't die <laughs> when I jump down the hole, but basically this is what happens. They come up here. I should have recorded it after I finished this. I don't know why I didn't actually. I think I just get in the zone and I was like, yes, let's do this. It's so close to being perfect. So let me eat some. So basically what you want to do is, once they get up to here, you just want to create a water flow, which is eight blocks. Three, four, five, six, seven. Then down. One, two, or... Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then down. And then one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And the reason you do eight is so that this happens here. Now I'm gonna have to try and fall down here without dying. Hopefully I don't. Okay, I did. But yeah, I can get down there. I, I was just about to explain. Uh, it, it worked out perfect anyway. Where am I going? Wrong way. It worked out perfect. I actually ha happened to land right next to um, the mob spawner itself, which is uh, really beneficial because the closer you are to the mob spawner, the more chance uh, the game has, or more chance you have of spawning a mob from the, the mob spawner, so I can get that stuff really relatively easily because it was literally, you know that wall I blocked off at the beginning um, next to the mob spawner? 
Yeah, it turned out it was, my drop point was right next to that. It couldn't have been more perfect. So we're actually close to finishing this thing. Come on! So, yep, we just go down here. I've done this, and then we've got everything here. And of course I can't get my stuff, because I don't... Because it's literally pixels away from me, and I can't get it anyway. So bear with me just one second. Come on. Okay. Let me just get through this quickly. Now with this texture pack, the, the armor suits Batman more, doesn't it? It's a bit more badass. So let's get this sorted out. And I think... And yes, I did spawn some signs. I just I didn't want to have to run all the way back. So I will sacrifice uh, however many signs I used. But anyway, um... La, 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 what am I trying to do here? That is it. That is the extent of the mob trap. Now all we have to do is make sure it is working. Um, and I'll explain what I've done down there in just a second. So let me go in here and tear down these lights. I'll need to open up my water flows in a second as well. There is some light up there, but that doesn't really mean anything. So let me... Let me just... Uh, these torches. Things are going to start spawning now. There we go. So, we're going to watch the mob. Dude. Actually, let's just watch the little one. Now, because you can see me, um, yeah. But hopefully, if this works. Okay, apparently, he can still see me. But anyway, let me head down and see if this thing works. It's going to take some time for it all to happen, but basically what I've done here is this is... Let me explain this before they get close. All the way up there is uh, from here, this level right here, so that should be like that typically, but from from this level here, and I just lost a pickaxe. That's 23 blocks up, 23 blocks from here to the edge, you know, where the water stops, there's 23 blocks. The reason that is, is because mobs will die, they'll take 100% damage if they fall 24 blocks or more, but if they drop 23 blocks, they will, they'll take so much damage that they only have one punch left in them, you know, if you punch them once. Now, I'm not comfortable with this being open behind me, so let me just quickly do that. Uh, yeah, so they will, they will fall down that hole with only one punch worth of health left, so you can easily punch them. This'll, this is a good way to get XP was the was the goal here is also so that we could get the items but we could also get XP from it which means we'll be back to level 85 in no time if you remember when I initially started this series or at least close to the beginning did I just hear one fall there? I don't think I did uh, yeah the begin near the beginning at some point I was like level 20 85 rather and uh, I didn't even get a chance to use that level you know with the enchantment table and things so I should hopefully remedy that situation. I'm just putting some cobblestone down, making this look much nicer. <laughs> for no particular reason. I guess if this is going to become something I, I go to a lot. Now this works so much better with um, skeleton spawners because you get arrows and bones, which are invaluable, you know, to most people anyway. To me they would be. I want to use bone arrow more so than anything. Okay, so after I neaten this up just a tad, I think it should be good. Hope this is working out though. It should. I see no reason why it wouldn't be working, but with me and mob traps, it always seems to be hit or miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I can hear mobs spawning, hopefully. It's the sound. I'm going to have one more look. Hmm. Ooh, this looks like. Something's going on here. Uh, there's a way to fix this. Let's see if I can hit them away. Um, let's see if I can fix this. There's something you do to make the water flow. They're not. There's no water there for them to flow, as you can see. Uh, how was that? I done this again? Oh god, this isn't good. I'm going to switch to peaceful right now so that I can do this. To apologise for the cheapness, but there is a way you can fix that, and I can't remember how to do it. Maybe it's uh 
Oops, my buckets. God damn it, I'm getting sucked into the, <laughs> the mob spawner here. Come on! Kevin, I can't. Oh. I think that's what you do, something like that. Let's try it from here. Uh, that's, that looks like it's still going to work. Hmm. Yeah, you have no idea how frustrating it is trying to work with this, this water. Well, that'll do. <laughs> I guess, I guess that'll do. Oh no, because they can spawn up in that. Um... There we go. Ta-da! Okay, so we can close this up. Oops. We can... Turn off peaceful. Let's listen in. I guess if we stand here it's going to be more successful. Let me count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Wow. So standing here is like, I think, the perfect range. I think you have to be within sixteen blocks uh, in order to, for it to work properly. So we can try standing here. I guess what I'll do is I'll, I'll let my game idle for like half an hour and I'll come back and show you the results. Um, yeah, so I'll be back in just a few seconds for you, and about half an hour for me. Okay, are you ready to see this? Are you ready to be blown away by the fact that this thing actually works? Huzzah! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, if we F3 right now, we can see there are... Uh, yeah, that is um, outstanding. So let's let's have a go, shall we? We are currently at five, with about three quarters of the bar full. Let's just have a, a field day. I don't even need to use my weapon. I can just punch them, and they should all die relatively quickly. And uh, now we are magically level seven. So there you go. That just shows you how how well it can work. Um, hmm. Now it doesn't seem to work as well when I'm when I'm standing here. It seems like I'm outside of the range. Maybe I could flip this um, over to this side. Let's try that, shall we? This might fare a little better. I don't know. The closer you can get to this the section over here, you know, next to the spawner, the better. And I just realised my game audio is off. I do apologise. Um, let's get this back to where it was. Yep, there's more XP. Typically, they should take one more punch. I did raise this up one. I could bring it down, but I, I believe for some reason it just seemed to have issues. Um, I guess what you could do is have them fall, take the damage, and then put a water flow down so they could flow towards you, you know, a little bit more appropriately. I think I might even try that since I have the water here for on me just now. So let's let's try that. Uh, I'm gonna tear all this up. I think I want to do something cool here as well. Um, so yeah, dig that. I'm gonna have this open since it's not really gonna make a difference. And they should be taking a bit more, or they shouldn't be. As easy to or easy to I don't know what I'm saying. I really don't know. Anyway, so for now we'll keep that there. But they shall flow this way, as the space must flow. <laughs> okay, and that one seemed to have died. Don't think this is really, you know. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. It was going to come out in like, the most random place, wasn't it? Dagnam it. It's only a test, I guess. If it doesn't work, we can easily cover it all up. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's 
take some of this junk away. You could even actually you know, think about it. You could even. God, I'm going to screw it. I'm going to ruin this so bad. But you can see, I got <laughs> that was terrifying. Zombie head comes out of the water. You could even potentially place water in here. I should just take this. That might still damage them. Hmm. Who knows? We can only test, I guess. Why do I keep saying something, things like that? Like, test, I guess, and... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about now. I'm just glad this is working. I'm just doing some tests now to see. But it worked fine the way before. It just, it just so happened that you had to stand up here and idle for about 10-15 minutes, maybe. I'm starting to think this is now too much. Let's bring this all up one. Because they're, they're now dying. Back to the original plan, I guess. Oh, and lag for some reason. Mm hmm. Yeah, that, that seems to work better, even though they're now, they're now getting trapped here. Hey little buddy. Hmm. Very curious. Now I need to pretty this up to make it a bit more... more better. You get the hell out of here. You shouldn't be that easy to kill, why? Okay, so now they're not taking damage, okay. Well, bear with me through my trial runs here, I guess. Yeah, they're, they're definitely landing in that and not taking damage. <laughs> so let's try this. Hmm, I wonder if they'll see you through glass. So I'd like this to be open, it's kind of cool. Kind of nice having that openness there. But anyway, let's... Stop them from jumping to begin with. But yeah, you could you could stop where I I left off. What I'm doing now is just you know seeing if this actually works, the way I'm thinking it works. Yeah, no. It's great. Let's just close this for now. They're going to get too distracted by me. I guess. Could actually do this and there. Hmm. Let's get you out of here. <laughs> ah, just trying to work out ways I can... I can do this. Hey, hey, hey. I'll have none of it. Right, so let's see if this works. We hit him. Their stuff comes out, nice! Hit him. Perfect! There you go, chaps. That is how it works, it seems. So I'll keep that for now, I guess. I can place... Place a torch down somewhere. Let me just block off all this stuff. We'll make like a maintenance access or something, but we could put ladders down. Good. And it wouldn't be a, an episode of Minecraft if the phone rang, would it? Uh, okay, um, so where was I? Hmm. Whatever. Hey. But now it seems to be working. You see how that spawn rate has increased, even though I'm further, further from the, uh, the spawner, basically. This should start getting a steady flow of, of things, things and stuff, and I need food. Plenty of rotten chunks now. It's not, like I said, it's not necessarily about the rotten chunks in this case, now it's just a bit of XP grinding. So, one, two, three punches per zombie. Not, not the best. It should be more. Probably could be as well, but I don't want to...
start messing with it while it's working, you know. But that seems to be as good as I can get it just now without anything drastic. But I will do some tests off camera as per usual, seeing if I can get anything to work the way I want it to work. Let me just cover this up. But yeah, that's that's that for now. That's the best I can get it to work, and I'm pretty happy with the turnout as well. I'm just trying to make this a bit more presentable. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna get a ladder or something like that to get out of here at some point. For now though, I'll do this, and I guess we'll call it quite at that. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. No. <laughs> At least I'm going back to doing things in Modern Minecraft that are far more interesting. I want to leave this to idle here, see what I can get in maybe like a half an hour time frame. Um, find maze ways to maybe increase the spawn rate or something, I don't really know, but either way, that's my mob trap. Now I can just hit zombies, get XP all day, and have fun. So yeah, guys, my name is Sneaky Mode, I hope you enjoyed this. If you could leave a like or a comment, I'd truly appreciate it. It helps me help you. Or something like that. Something that will make you convinced. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You don't have to like or anything. But I will see you next time.